you love the Lord, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you love the Lord, give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love to praise the Lord. I love that song. I love that song. I love to praise the Lord. And the Bible said it is a good thing to give praise to what the Lord. So it is a good thing to praise the Lord. So we praise the Lord with you, you, and you. And it is a good thing to bless him and worship him. So it takes time. When we come into God's house, it just takes time to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth uh, and to magnify his name, hallelujah, because he alone is worthy. Who woke you up this morning? Who started you on your way? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Hallelujah, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah, I call him Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus is his name. We bless him and we bless him. And we just send praises up to the Lord as a sweet smell and savor yes. before the Lord because we dare not come into God's house. The Bible, David said he learned to enter his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise. Yes. So praise is what we do. Hallelujah. We don't bypass praise. Well, hallelujah. We, we don't go straight to, you know, a, 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 a stringent format, but we come through praise. Praise is what gets us to where we need yes. to be in the presence of the Lord, because that's how we usher the presence of the Lord in. Surely God is everywhere. We understand that God is an omnipresent God, that meaning he yeah. fills all space, all void, all time. But it's something about begin letting go and letting God. It's something about letting go, putting yourself into praise. Yes. My, giving of yourself into praise. Many of your experiences before you came here, maybe on this week, maybe not today, but maybe sometime during this week, you've had some tedious experiences. But it's just good to know that when I enter into God's house, uh, glory to God. I, 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 you know, I don't know about you, but a lot of the reality shows that come on TV and and, and, and uh, I think about the, the one dance show that, that uh, where these celebrities go out there and they learn how to dance and so on and so on. I can't think of what it's called. Dancing for the Stars. And, and they tell them to leave it all on the floor. You know, in other words, go out there and do your best. Is that what they're mean? You know, and sometimes we got come in God's house and we can't even leave the praise you know, in, in His house. So leave it all in here. Let it all go. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Now, trust me, the bills will be there after you have left here. My goodness, whatever troubles, they will still be there. Glory to God. People that are, uh, 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 you know, that are problems, they will still be there. But if somehow when you enter into worship, uh, it can change not sometimes the situation, but it can change you. Yes, Glory to God. And that's what matters. Changing you, Lord. Even if the situation don't go nowhere. Just having the right attitude and dealing with the situation. Somebody said the attitude can determine the altitude. Yes. And, and, and so if we, we, we evoke an attitude of worship. That's what the praise team does each and every Sunday. When they get up here and minister to us, do praise and worship, what they're invoking is the spirit of praise and worship that we would learn to let go. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Because see, yesterday I had two phone calls that were very troublesome. And I thank God that, you know, what? Well, that's why I've learned the secret to, right. to enter into worship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the things of life will overwhelm you. Circumstances will come in and bombard you and, and grip you and hold you in its grip. If you don't learn to break loose through praise, somebody get in praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The cares and concerns and the complexities of life will bog you down. But it's something about entering into worship. Hey. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And it is he that has made us. And not we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pasture. And when we come into the house of worship, we take it literally. We feel that we ought to be worshiping him. Glory to God. I'm not going to be a spectator, but I've always been a participator. I'm going to get involved. I'm going to let go and let God and begin to enjoy the Lord. 
And it, church is not an ex my, uh, it, it's not a formality, it's not a ritual, but it's where I enter into worship and have that God experience, yeah. to experience the joy of the Lord, to experience the presence of the Lord. And they say, I think the presence of the Lord is here because we can feel him in the atmosphere. And we encourage you to let go and to worship the Lord as we move on through our services. Worship the Lord and praise his holy name. Give him praise. personal level with you, that God wants to know you, wants to be your confidant, God wants to be the one you go to, God be, wants to be the one that you look to, the one that you can count on, yes. hallelujah, he wants us to let us know, hallelujah, that he wants to be our everything, yes. hallelujah, I often say he is my bread and my butter, glory to God. He's my everything. He's my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother. He's my everything. Hallelujah. He said, when father and mother forsake thee, lo, I'll be there to pick you up. When they have to journey on and have a, 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 a mind preceded you, glory to God. The Lord lets you know you're never alone. I'll be there to be the one, to be that father, to be that mother, to be that confidant, to be that loved one. In the absence, praise God. Let's look at the 139th Psalm. We're going to be looking at particular verses throughout this, so we're going to go ahead and have prayer right now because we're going to be just going as the Lord lead us to look at some of these verses. We're not going to cover the whole entire chapter. If you want to, in your private reading, to read it, read it, it'll bless your soul. Well, let us pray at this time. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we do thank you. God, we bless your name. God, you're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the glory. And you're worthy of the honor. God, we thank you this day that you have awakened us to a day that we've never seen before. God, we thank you for the abundant supply of mercies, uh, new mercies that awaited us. Uh, as we awaken this day, Lord, new mercies uh, we see. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord, unto us, O oh God. Uh, we do give you glory. We do give you honor. We do worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Uh, and Father, we embrace the hearing of your word, Lord. Let every heart be set already for the hearing of your word. Let your word continually, Lord, be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let your word be a healing uh, sad for the, heart, the hurting soul, Lord. God, let us find comfort and solace in your word today, Lord. Bless the hearers. Bless the messenger, Lord. You be glorified continually, Lord. And we'll exalt your name forever. Amen and amen. 